I just found an apple tree on our property. But first, we have to remove all the dead limbs that are blocking all the fruit. Wow. So yeah, we have a wonderful pear tree also over here on the side of the road. So it's like, I'll have to come back when they're soft and then we can harvest some pears. Maybe I can do some canning after all. So we have an apple tree there, a pear tree, and, um, Sumatra plum. So they're really small. And the reason why I never saw these fruit trees in the first place was because it's like super hard to access them. But yeah, we've been living here two years. Just now am I realizing we have bearing fruit trees. Hello YouTube, welcome back to Carlisle Fee Homestead. I wanted to give you a little garden tour. Alright, this is my half shade garden where I have a lemon tree. And then I have my blueberry bush. This will take years for it to produce. But then I have flowering. Um, gosh, I wish you could smell that. Mmm, what is this again? Sweet marjoram. And I found these seedlings popping up that I planted in the summer. Shade garden seedlings. See? I just threw them out here and they're starting to sprout. Then more lamb deer. Two sprouts of lavender. A strawberry plant. Loading over here, and this is my lime tree. And on this side of the garden, I have a lemon verbena. It smells like soap. It smells so good, like lemony soap. Oh, lavender. Look at these dahlias. Pretty. That color is so beautiful. Orange lily that has blooms. Lavender. Sage. This is California sage and this smells so lovely. Lavender. Oh no. I'm just finding all these bugs. Oh no. Aphids on my butterfly weed. Okay. This is my favorite plant. What I did to control the aphids was just like rub them off and spray a little water and mainly just pinching them off because bees love this plant so i didn't want to use neem or anything gladiolus just all my poppies and zinnias and sunflowers and borage
grapes. I have peas, um, seeds right there. And then all my wildflowers are looking beautiful. I planted potatoes, beets, garlics. <gasps> I have something sprouting. Let's see if you can see that. So cute. Potatoes are sprouting. More garlic bulbs. And then I planted fennel seeds. Hey, numbers, I see him. With pops of color. The pink cornflower and blue cornflower. Oh, and Cosmo seeds that I could save. What? And this purple one is so pretty. And I've been feeding my sunflowers to the chickens because they're about ready. I did have some cilantro sprouts popping up and then like a lot of cilantro seeds sprouted and then something ate them. I put chive seeds down, we'll see what happens. Oh, and a tomato. Um, yeah, I mean like, it's clear that my soil is very, very uh, nutrient lacking. I mean like, to have things grow just this big, it's really sad. Tiny, tiny, it's not worth it right now until I get my soil health dialed in. And then what is growing are like tiny things like this. Like what is this? Like this, what is this? What would I even do with that? Oh, yeah look. What is this? My corn was a complete failure. Still got peas over here that I'm neglecting because I just, all this was covered in aphids and it created that mold and now I'm just like, forget it. <laughs> um, I do have some really pretty morning glories. Extended their trellis so they're growing really tall and it gives like a barrier. I'm gonna put another fence um, here and then it will give a high barrier for the neighbor's privacy and mine. Thank you, and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, go ahead and subscribe now. It's such a perfect time to jump into this channel and see the growth that will come in the next several years that I'm going to be doing this. You will all be on that journey with me. And so I thank you for tuning in and subscribing. Comment below if you have any um, recommendations for soil health or anything that i can do in order to boost my garden's productivity thank you